So we're in Lancashire and I'm really looking forward to showing you this grade two listed property that we've been entrusted to bring back into a modern living for a family of 21 people. So this was subject to a fire, unfortunately, about five years ago, it lost its roof and there was extensive water damage. We've had to detail every single element of the original period features and bring that back to life, modernize it, for this wonderful family and create it in harmony with all of this landscape. So we've got a wild pond, we've got tree houses, a walled garden, and some wonderful play areas and woodlands to just explore. And the detail inside, I'm sure you are absolutely gonna love. can't help to be impressed by this space. It's always my favorite, the first impression. This hallway, when we, we took the project on, was flooded with rainwater. Um, the, the roof had come in and it was really all a case of putting the details back in, um, as well as kind of embellishing them. So whilst we had lots of repair work to do in terms of all the coving details, these archways in particular, there were a number of things that we added. So the wall paneling um, never previously existed. And this, this has really brought an elegance to it, in my opinion. We've also, as you kind of look up, you'll see a whole new roof lantern. We picked certain details out with some gilding work. The staircase itself needed an awful lot of refurbishment. And a number of these barley twist uh, balusters were, were, were in complete disrepair, if not missing. So that got a total refurb. And we also introduced a secondary staircase um, in, a, in, a very, in a totally matching theme, and that's worked really well. But this is one of my favorite journeys through the house. Um, and that light that is flooded through this beautiful arched doorway. And for me, in a way, it's how delicate all this timber work is. And you'll just see, if you catch a glimpse, we've got a peacock just sitting there. There are many within the landscape. We've picked up some details in the property um, that, that represent what is going on outside. This was actually originally a, a big Victorian conservatory that, um, had, again, it had fallen apart. It was in disrepair. And, and that has now become one of the most beautiful terraces. And we now have a reinstated chapel on this other side of the hallway. And, that in itself is, is, is beautiful in a different way. This is the dining room fit for a king and full of warmth that we uh, obviously wanted to inject into here. There's some incredible details, some of the period features that we replicated when we introduced the coving details and the ceiling rows. She's going to take a huge chandelier over a five meter dining table. Some of these beams um, were pre-existing, but there were only actually two within this room. So we intentionally broke up the ceiling by introducing a couple of cosmetic ones that then really allow us to dress this cornice into these sections. Um, and that in itself will create the grandeur that sits around this uh, huge dining table. This archway is fantastic. Originally, there was a feature here, a little bit more subordinate than how we've ended up. Um, it was stripped back to brick when we had the fire damage and reinstated. But we had that opportunity to really get the proportions of all these molding details in the right manner that befits the skirting, the architrave detailing. You look at the windows over here, these really substantial proportions have worked extremely well with such big window frames. So what we're gonna have here are some elegant, bespoke made, heavy duty curtain poles and some incredible drapes. Uh, decorators are still working away as you can see. It's very much work in progress, but we've got some of the original cast radiators that are gonna come into play here some beautiful brass detailing that will match all the fascias, the sockets, switch plates, etc. And uh, yeah, it's a really warm room that I think is gonna be enjoyed for all those wonderful family occasions. And wait till you see the kitchen that serves this because it's, uh, that's something in itself. I just wanna show you the kitchen, but en route, um, just take a moment to have a little look at this aquarium. Um, tropical aquarium, it's gonna make a really nice 
reading section, just a place to relax. This is all going to get dressed with furniture here. There's an incredible amount of kit that sits behind these, particularly when this is uh, live coral and everything else that goes with it. Beautiful panelling, as you can see on the way, and we've just passed a lift, which we've dressed with the same door as the, uh, the primary doors in the house. Then you're into um, something really quite special. A company called Officini Gulu, based in Florence, handmade commercial grade equipment. And there probably isn't anything that you haven't got in this kitchen in terms of appliances. One of which has never been done before. So what we've done is integrated a full tandoor, which will be pretty special when that's being used. Um, so that's there. You've got the fryers, You've got a tepan plate, you've got pasta steamers with this wonderful tap to just uh, obviously fill that area up. So you've got the high level ovens here, you've got a coffee machine, an incredible fridge freezer, uh, more of those in the pantry, which is just behind me. And we've got a spice cupboard over here. You've got larder units, coffee stations. This here is a hot plate, which is a fantastic piece of kit as well. So you've got all the heat in the center, and then you can simmer things, gravies, juice, whatever, um, over to the corners, obviously a hob. There's actually large scale, low level ovens there as well. And they're all, everything is triple lined, stainless steel, solid brass. It's an absolute forever kitchen. This is indestructible, commercial, and you can see from the extract, this is gonna be uh, something else. It's uh, the chef's dream. So we're in the ladies' lounge. Uh, the property has three lounges uh, and a few breakout spaces, but uh, this is the ladies. It's naturally a little bit more delicate and a little bit more ornate in our choice of coving details and plasterwork details. You'll probably notice from the moldings as well that we've actually just taken these corners off to give it a little bit more of a femininity. It's flooded with light. We've brought the coving away from the window, so that's gonna have some fantastic curtains on there that will really dress, dress that window. It's been great showing you a heritage project, brings about a different skill set, not just from us in all the detailing that we've got to throw into it, all the drawings, every square inch. Also the tradesmen, that's a different animal, a different skill set for them as well. Massive attention to detailing, heritage, colors, gilding, all sorts of different expressions. Um, we've thoroughly enjoyed it as a team. Can't wait for the client to move in. I wish I could show you every square inch and there's fantastic bedrooms with incredible views. We're gonna keep that private for now. There may be some photography that we do at the end for this that we will share with you. But in the meantime, it's been great to just show you around a real classical property, period properties that we love uh, as much as we do the minimal. <laughs>